Hi, it's me again, uh, Pastor Anthony from Faith Five. Just doing a quick wardrobe inspection. You know, I just just came in from outside doing some landscape, and I got myself in the way in the wardrobe to get some stuff on. You know, sometimes you go in your wardrobe and you find that you like certain clothes, and you just wear them all the time. If you could just wear that, you just wear that. Sometimes you just pass by. If you forget that it's not just clothes, it becomes like a uniform, something that identifies you, something that you feel that speaks to who you are. And sometimes you go to work and we got we wear uniforms, little badges, little signs upon it, and we become to be identified with the clothes we wear. And sometimes we think that people relate to you based upon what you take out of your wardrobe and put on. So I just want to remind some of us who believe that respect is what you take out of the wardrobe. But not really so. Because this generation don't really relate to you based upon your uniform. They relate to you based upon how you make them feel, how you treat them, and how you relate to their needs and the world around them. So we're going to begin to address our wardrobe differently. Those uniforms we wear, those things them that we constantly identify, those titles behind our names, those things that seem to us keeps us above the water. Understand that your wardrobe, the best wardrobe, is the one that you are on the inside of you. Someone says that clothes make a man. Really, I don't really believe that now as I get older in life. begin to realize that the man makes the clothes. It's not the clothes you wear. It's the man or the woman on the inside of the clothes that defines the clothes. And so I really want to remind you today, even as I look into my wardrobe, more important than the clothes in my wardrobe is what's on the inside of me and how I relate to me and to those around me. Because it's not what you wear makes you. It's what you have on the inside. If Jesus could be on a cross naked and his wardrobe taken away from him and somebody could still ask him to save him, on the cross naked without any wardrobe then you and I need to look at a different perspective of what you and I are wearing because it's what you have on the inside you should wear more bless you let's look at our wardrobe some more later on bye